All right, guys, I'm going to go over uh, first cutting a little finer. I've been meaning to do something like this. So I knew that these numbers were not correct because there's areas like this and all this is cleared now. Anyway, uh, I knew it wasn't correct. So the cool thing was the guy that, that I have fertilized for me, he, uh, he's got GPS on this thing. So I know exactly how much he's fertilizing. The only thing that takes away from that is like this area in here is pretty big. Couple acres that didn't get it, get mowed. Uh, all these trees in here, um, you know, the ponds. So um, my guesstimate is right around uh, 55 acres, maybe 54 acres, something like that. And here are my yields. So pasture one, that's the terraced field right there. Uh, pasture one, field one. Uh, it's 12 acres. I got 56 bales. I've been working on that for three years. I'm giving you. Sorry, guys. Anyway, pasture two, which is right behind my house. That um, uh, is about 10 acres, and I got 55 bales. Pasture three, which is my back pasture. I was clearing this area right here when I found out my house was burning down. <laughs> I'll never forget that spot on my farm. Anyway, so that one, uh, another, uh, that one, anyway, 49 bales, whatever. Actually, that's reversed. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't. Anyway, so then we have the leased ground, which is only 16 acres that we fertilize. There's trailers and stuff in the way. Sorry again. Um... And then we have the clover field. That's that area right here that I cleared. Everything right here. And sorry, my camera skills aren't great, guys. And that's about seven acres, but I made a huge mistake and left too many trees uh, over here. And I'm taking those down for sure. Anyway, but, but look, so I just cleared that. That's seven acres. I got 29 clover silage bales. <laughs> yeah, I found this after I was done baling, like as soon as the last bale was in there. And it started raining, and I looked down, and there was a four-leaf clover. I'm saving that. I'm superstitious. You should not watch me watch sports. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so there you go. Altogether, 55 acres, 244 bales. Now, that brings us over to what I put on this. I went 60, 60, 50 on this, Okay. Um, and then I also got, I guess, a uh, hundred pounds of fescue. This was, uh, in March anyway. Yeah, there's the numbers. Okay. So here's, here's what, uh, here's what I kind of go by. Now, if you read this, nothing included, including for raising soil samples. So originally I wish I had my soil samples printed out, but I don't have a printer over here, man. You guys have seen my house. Anyway, uh, but on the next one, you know, I'll, I'll include those. So what we're putting down, I mean, you're taking this off every, every unit number. Okay. So you're taking all of this off, uh, except clover. Hey, you're not taking off anything because, and alfalfa would probably be because the nitrogen would be at zero. Um, anyway, so that's what you're taking off. So you always have to add back to it to, I mean, put back what you took off and then, you know, depending on your soil samples, you don't have to do it all at once. I mean, you build it back up. So definitely, you know, I want to be in the pluses, you know, and the bonuses as far as what I'm doing out here. Um, so this, uh, this time I cut back on the nitrogen a little bit, but I got a ton of forage. So I went 45, 60 and 60 again. Um, and let's, let's show you what that's looking like. Uh, might as well. Yeah. Here's okay. Front end's tight. I didn't want to paint anything till I was sure everything was exactly the way I wanted it. Now I can paint it. Uh, skid steer. This is one of the hubs I did not do when I bought this, but here's what's, what's cool. Look at this. I mean, that is, that was a milkshake last time I was in there. So that time I took to, uh, why did I just put my hand in there? That time I took to, uh, you know, clean that up, put those on, all that stuff. It, it, it worked. I mean, that's like new oil in there. Anyway, um, you need a 50-ton press to get the fucker or the, or the darn thing out of there. I don't have one. I don't have the time. So 
drop it off at John Deere in the morning and I'll be back down to pick up all the or to put up all this hay uh, depending on what happens with that I might not yeah I might sell it first anyway um and then I'll pick it you know so I'll be back down here in about two and a half weeks or three weeks something like that uh no matter what and then my old lady's out of uh no schools left anyway okay so here's what we had I bailed this about a week ago I guess I don't know my days are all mixed up maybe a week and a half okay I'm gonna show you something see all these brown spots that is orchard grass so orchard grass the thing I don't like about it is it's a bunch grass so do you see this bunch right here and then in the spring it it leaves spots for uh you know for weeds to come like look at this there that's you know i don't like that but anyway uh so if you look at it i mean it was cut here and it's already that i mean it's it's growing man Anyway, so, so so that's the orchard grass. Uh, the thing is, um, orchard grass and, uh, you know, is a cooler season grass. That's why it was so thick. So I just hope it doesn't get hot and I uh, hope it doesn't get too hot. Anyway, but I've got some cool season grasses in here too. Second cutting will be, uh, let's drive around. I'm just like walking. Second cutting will be, uh, there'll be no heads on any of this stuff it'll be all undergrowth anyway and i'm pretty excited uh just to see what it is another reason my yields were so high i mean i'm not you know was because of that lime it's it, it's finally getting it you know it's finally working it it doesn't work the first year it takes time so the thing is like those spots that's not a spot in my field that that was just all orchard grass there like all of these. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like after you mow it. But it's it's coming back in pretty thick around here. Already for having just cut it. I mean, look at this down here. Wow, shit. I mean, it was cut here, and these are new shoots. Look at that. Again, orchard grass with the spottiness. Anyway, uh, all right, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do over here. I knew that I could, oh yeah, I took down some more fencing. I gotta get that. On that map, I've got areas, cause I've been all over every inch of these fields in the tractor a bunch of times. So I know where there's a couple problem spots. I came through here with, my, with the pitchfork and <laughs> picked up hay that uh I don't want to take that way I'll take something that was left it was just a little bit of it but what I did was I stuffed it in those holes man you know like mounded it up you know and I know like that's insane but I don't know that's what I did all right so we'll go this way I mean look at that that's damn that's way better Sometimes you can get three cuttings, you know, that's really, really tough on uh, that third cutting. I, you know, I was talking with my uh, advisor, I guess you would call him, and that third cutting, if you take that, that late, it really damages the plant, you know. It doesn't have a lot of reserves in its root system, and uh, it's good to let it rest a little bit. So, I don't know. I mean, it's still pretty early in the year, but... I, I'm opposed to it, I think. Anyway. Alright, so... I gotta get these fucking things out of here. Anyway. So all that clover... Let's see how that's... I haven't even been up here, man. And all that clover's coming back today. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's get out and look. I mean, it's, it's in there. up in here yeah it's 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 gonna come so that's good 
And uh, like I said, the whole field's not clover, but it's uh, there's a lot of it, you know. There's there's a ton of it. Let me show you my. Uh, or no, you guys already saw that, I guess. Uh, now let's go look at the bales. We'll show you what those are looking like. I haven't weighed them yet, but I'm I'm gonna when I come back down. Uh, just been busy. And, and, and it's been raining right after we were done. I mean, it's been raining a lot. I don't want to mess up my little bale yard over there <laughs> that I disked up and graded this year. <laughs> yeah, so the water flows away from my bales. But I didn't know I was going to get that many, so we'll check it out. I don't know if I'll post this one or the house video I just did first, but uh, that house is getting close, man. It's getting close. Let's go around this way, I guess. I hope it's not too windy for you guys. I'm kind of doing this for me, too, so I can look at this stuff when I'm uh, back in Chicago. <laughs> okay, so starts about there. Not exactly there. There's a couple rolls. Oh my god, that smells good. Anyway, this is actually graded towards the barn. And that barn stays dry, dry, dry. There must be tiles there. I don't know, but I mean, I'll show you. It's, god, this smells good. Anyway, so yeah, I got some rows of them. And some more rows of them. Anyway, let's, uh, I do want to get a sample of this so I, so I can have it protein tested. I'm thinking about just going in there with a long sawzall blade. But, they, I mean, they are really freaking tight. You guys. I mean, looks like it did when it was in the winter. It smells good. Anyway, so, yeah, that's them. I know I should have stacked them uh, with space in between them, but the dump, you know, the trailer we used, I don't know if that was in any of the videos. You stack it, you just keep on putting them on with your tractor and you push them all the way to the front and you just keep pushing it. There's, it sits right in there and then when you get there, you just, there's this lever and you pull this lever and it dumps them over. And, uh, you know, and the skid steer went down, I just, I mean, they're going to be okay for a couple weeks, and then I'll put them in there. Uh, oh, I got a freaking rock. Oh, All right. I hope I'm not zoomed in. All right, so that's about... Uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to get in this video, I guess. Um, but, yeah, it's coming along. And, uh, you know, get an eight-hour drive and then a reward of going back to that nightmare. But... You know, it's a process, and I'll get there. I'll get there. Comment, rate, subscribe if you want to.